Hey, good people. Welcome back to Beauty in the Frizz. My name is Kara. My name is August. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for another one. I do have Tyrone here. Get your hands in there. They can't see. Get your hand up in there. <laughs> um, and August. Wait. There got a little bit of his fingers. Okay. Today, I am doing a declutter for mimosas and makeup, and this is my mimosas. So yesterday, I shared the recipe. It's just J. Roger Brut Champagne, a little bit of orange juice, and a little splash of Bacardi pineapple rum. Yes, and some blueberries. So it's all to taste. Anyway, if you want to hang out with us, we're going to do this declutter kind of like Marie Kondo style. So if that sounds good to you, keep on watching. Let me know what you think. And if makeup is your therapy and your love, if it makes you happy and you want to hang out with someone that feels the same way, definitely consider joining the community. I'd love to have you back. All right, let's get started. The reason that I asked Tyrone to join me is because I have a tendency to hold on to things and he knows that because we live together and the majority of the stuff in here is mine and trying to declutter anything has been a challenge for me because I can always find a reason to keep it and the same thing goes with work so I have been reading the magic art of tidying up I think that's the name of the book something like that I'll put it in the description box by Marie Kondo and basically babe uh, I was telling you about it already when you want to tidy up your space there's some questions that you have to ask yourself but one of the main ones is does whatever it is you're looking at, does it spark joy? And just not finding reasons to hold on to things. Now, we're gonna go ahead and get started, but I just wanna share that my eyeshadow palette count is approximately 289 palettes. And so I, I was going brand by brand, but I already had set aside a box of palettes that I am considering decluttering from multiple brands. And so Tyrone is going to help me go through and we're going to, you know, just figure out what we're going to do with these palettes. So are you ready? I see about 301. Uh, it's not. Okay. We're going to get started. Now, these palettes are not all bad palettes, y'all. Some of them are very good, but you know, we're going to go through. So this first palette is the Wilderness Palette by Beauty Bay. Now this palette, Tyrone, was uh, $15. It is a great palette. It is not a bad palette at all. And unfortunately, I don't use it. So I'm going to show it to you right now. What do you think about this color story? It's all right. So the, the reason that I want to declutter this one is because I just don't use it. And honestly, there's 20 shades. I haven't really been wearing big palettes. I haven't been going for those types of palettes in some time. And I think somebody else would get used out of it. And even though it was only $15, it's taking up space, you know, like these palettes as a collective are taking up space. I say we let this one go. Nothing about this you like? Like, I mean, the, the colors that I really like are, is, is really this row right here, you know? And I can get that from something smaller that I have in my collection. Oh, no. We're, we're debating on it. I, I'm not really, I'm not using this row, most likely. I mean, and then these shades I do have. So it's kind of like... It's nice. The quality is fine. So you already know what I'm fitting to say. What? If you already have these shades, why get it again then? I mean, we're going to be asking that the whole video. So I, I say let this go. If you're interested. No, we, you know what? <laughs> leave a comment in the section. No, no. Here's the thing. Because people do ask me to put my Macari in the description box, but I don't, I don't want this to be like a sales thing because it's not and I actually have donated um, some palettes so I would be interested in, in donating the palettes you know what I mean there are some palettes here that you know I, I probably would like to put on Macari if they're in really good condition or it's something that I know someone's looking for but if I can donate it you know I will feel really good about that so this is the Lunar Beauty Strawberry Dream palette I've never worn this, but it did come from Beauty Bay and it was damaged. So I think I had to repress some shades. Oh, wow. Now I like that. One. I know you do. It's the bright colors for me. I, 
never reached for this. I, I just never did. So I'm not going to swatch all over it. The two shades that I had to repress were these two. Other than that, oh, and this one, there were three broken shades. I'm not sure. I think this palette is still available, but I this is kind of disjointed for me as far as the color story. I just, I, I don't know. I don't know if I really like this palette, you know? So that bottom, that bottom row, was, are those mattes? This. So all of these are mattes except for Lightning, which is the shimmer. I don't know. These three, especially these two, are just, I don't know, they're just kind of out of place. I'm, I'm not going to reach for this palette. So I know you like these bright colors, but this is a joyful palette, but not for me. We got to say goodbye. Mm. Okay, I'll put this back on here. Yeah. So what's the goodbye pile? That right there? Yep. Oh, All right. You pick a palette. This one right here. All right. With the dog on it. I, I don't even think this palette is in my palette count, but I have held onto this palette for so long. And this palette was like a big deal when it released a few years ago because it was a collab from Copacetic Cosmetics and M Jones 5018 from Instagram. And this was called the Companion Palette. And it was basically a tribute to... I guess different, um, the best companions. So there were like different dogs or whatever. I never wore this palette, y'all. I know I swatched it, but I never wore it. And you know what? It's just... Mm, get rid of it. I'm sorry. <laughs> the packaging is cute with the dog on the front. It's like, but as soon as you open it up, it's like, nah. First of all, <laughs> even if, to me, to me though, even if the, even if it didn't look all discombobulated, Mm, no. Nah. Is it was just kind of dry? Like, look at this pink shade, and and this isn't because it's old. I remember saying this um, when I got it. The flaky shades, I don't use flakies. I really don't, and I'm not gonna be uh, like. Look at this. It's just like I don't even want to sell this to somebody. But then I felt bad putting it in the trash. But this one's definitely going. I don't even think. This is included in I, my palette count. I think it'd be cool if you go into like a 70s party. Okay. Uh, even this is starting to wear. So we're putting this in the goodbye pile. All right. I'm going to do this one. Okay. This palette I most likely am not getting rid of, but I almost want to take my ZC Cosmetics palettes out of my palette count because they're not palettes I'm going to be using. Uh, these are palettes that I just pretty much am keeping for the beautiful packaging. And, you know, I love Alice in Wonderland. But I never, I did a video on the first two, but never used the third one. And oh, that's the Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, so I'm, I'm not, I doubt I'm going to get rid of this, but I don't want it in my palette count because I'm not going to use it. I'm sure I've swatched it, but you can see like I really haven't. Uh, touch this palette at all mm -hmm. the ZC cosmetics formula is it's fine like there's nothing wrong with it I just think like between having all the pink from Pat McGrath I just don't need this color story in my collection but I do think it's special and it's something that I would like to um, have on display in my beauty room now where was this made at because this it's, it's a Chinese brand oh yeah as you know it's a Chinese New Year mark ain't it the Lunar New Year, yeah. yeah, but that that usually has red packaging. Uh, so, but I'm saying, uh, keep it. Let's keep. All right, we'll put this you in. You put key. it on display. That's what I'm gonna do. All right, these next two palettes are gonna be from the Glam Shop. Yeah, so let's put them side by side. So we have this one, which is the Brown Sugar Palette, and then this one is the Caramel made. Palette. Yeah, okay. These are great palettes. Like, there's nothing wrong with them at all. I may have used each of them once. The issue is, is that again, the neutral color stories are stories that I have uh, many times over. These shimmers are very nice. And with Glam Shop, you get shimmers that you don't usually find in palettes, like, you know, those indie shimmers and they're beautiful. But I've got to slow down on all the neutral palettes. What are you thinking? I don't like neither one of these. I know you Did don't. they drop it the same day? No. They right. were different releases, but so to me, to me, this looks like a reversible jacket. What? One side, and then you, fl then it's like you flip this over, and you got this. Get rid of it. Not a reversible jacket. It okay. Is. So these are gonna go. Yeah. All right. Which one's next? Um. We did this one just to keep it. Let's do. 
this one. Okay, this one, I know I should keep it because of how expensive it was, but I'm, I'm you know, I did get caught up in the hype with this. And this is my tweed palette, y'all. Tweed Fove. And I don't... <laughs> what? No, what? No comment. What, that it was $88? That, you pay $88 for that? Yes. You so, might just want to keep it because of how much it costs. Okay. But other than that... I, I mean, I love I'm the shades. I don't know. The performance is good, but it's like... It looked like four old pennies. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it looks like. Uh, so I was like, do I need this in my palette? It's like, you know, when people talk about like body counts. Like I've been thinking right. about my palette. It's like, do I want this in my palette count? And the answer is like, no, I don't think I really do. Like, no. uh, so what are we doing with this? Oh no, you know what? I kind of do because look, I forgot about this. What is that? So the thing about Chanel is Chanel was famous for the tweed, the tweed suits. So, and that was kind of iconic. And uh, maybe I should just keep this one. No, no. Uh, I, how I, about I, this? Because I, I want the tweed pouch. No. What you do is it's not any old type of tweed. Of it's this, Chanel tweed. Keep this for oven mitt. Give me this. A oven mitt for who? Mitt. A baby? A baby oven? An easy bake oven? No. Just how you got it right there. You take the pan. I'm not it. using a Chanel pouch for an oven mitt. I would. I probably really paid for the pouch. All right, we're going to put Chanel. Let's keep the Chanel because, yeah. I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> I just can't. I just can't. I forgot about that tweed pouch. <laughs> okay, Thomas. So I got this from the cosmetics company store because... It was the African Violet. Did I swatch this? I think I might no, have. That like it ain't even been touched. Let me move about to see, because I can tell if I swatched it. Nope. Yeah, yeah I did. did. I did. I, I right definitely there. did, yeah. But I'm not gonna use it, y'all. Is this the reality? I'm not. And you know, I was thinking I have a lot of these colors, like I was thinking the Natasha Denona Sunrise palette, this color and this color. Uh, specifically so i i don't know i like i said i these are 90 dollars quads i didn't pay 90 dollars just so you know so when does this stuff expire you know what the tom ford quads don't ever have an expiration date but can i tell you something y'all let me know because i said this in another video and nobody responded i feel like the tom ford eyeshadow smell funny like i don't smell it now no not these ones it's the smell. wet dry ones not i don't think it's this one let me see let me check. No, it's the wet dry formula, the one, the raised ones. Now this, this is my beef. As much as you, as much y'all pay for this stuff, and they give y'all these little rinky dink brushes. Yeah, they do. And some people be using them, and they give you the nice little cloth. And that's nice, but I, I'm gonna let this go. This is definitely going. And the, yeah, they don't ever have an expiration date. All right, let's do some more oh man okay y'all oh my god so this was from unique beauty and my mom even painted rocks for these like i really love this because it was the fashion africa uh they call it magazine but i'm gonna tell you this first of all uh where's this brand from they're they're from overseas. I can't remember, but these palettes, some of these palettes went through the ringer with the shades and then they were really messy. And then I, I do remember the mattes being okay, but the shimmers were, they just, mm, I just wasn't a huge fan of what my eyelids look like. Now I had to repress like all of these shades, all of them, like they all came broken and that was very upsetting. Um, I don't know. I think the collection itself was special, but like take the Africa theme out of it. It just, it's okay. Um, I'm gonna show you the color story. There's one that had a very, very unique color story, but it's so unique that I'm probably not even gonna wear it, like to be honest with you. And this is the Roots one. Let me see what this other one was. I can't remember. It was like Roots, Queen, and Tribe. I can't remember. This one I think is the Queen. No, I think it's something you want to keep on display. Yeah, uh, I don't know. This one right here. Get rid of it. See, this one came like that. And the thing is, is like it, it's very unique. Like when you think of unique color stories, 
like this this is awesome. Like I definitely would have to do some manipulating with this and, uh, you know, using maybe the, uh, door line or Mayron mixing medium, but nine times out of 10, like I, where am I wearing this color store? I'm, I'm not the, 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 It is which one, this one. No, that's the blue. I'm not wearing this color story though. That's like, let's be honest here. And it's met like, look how messy it is. It's messy. I don't know y'all like I just I have to be honest like nothing has called me back to want to use this palette and make that mess and then this last palette this one is the tribe palette this one was just okay again these warm color stories are just stories I have over and over again and I need to condense them down but like this shimmer like I did not like this shimmer at I just mm, did not like it at all so I don't know y'all this this i am letting this go though i'm letting it go i'm so sorry all right what's next? what do you think i will let it go yeah it's, it's kind of messy all right let's now what if we what if we get to a situation where you want to get rid of it but i think you should keep it now do you be in a maybe do you over rule me being that you have to wear this or no let's just we can ask people in the comments how about that is is this a whole set? We're yeah, doing that's a whole set. All right, y'all. Oh my. Okay, this might have been in my last declutter video, and obviously, <laughs> I did not declutter it. So these are ColourPop palettes, y'all. Um, I did not include the Mandalorian palette, the Child, or the Gather Round Sisters Hocus Pocus, or the Raw Beauty Christie palette. Actually, my mom purchased the Raw Beauty Chrissy palette, so she was like, don't declutter that one. And then, the, I'm not getting rid of the child. I don't even care. What about? What about? That, what about that palette I got you? Oh, you want to go get that? No, but I'm just asking. Oh, let me ask y'all that, ladies. What? Let me go no, get the palette. No. no, let me go get it while you ask them about Lancome eyeshadow. Hold on. Go ahead. Just talk. Don't be moving it around. I'm not. So, I, I bought Kara a palette last... Was that Valentine's Day? Uh, I don't know. Maybe last Valentine's Day. I got her a palette from Macy's. First of all, it took me like two hours to pick it out. Then when I picked it out and I brought it to her, she was like, Oh, this is nice, but I'm not going to wear it. I'm I like, didn't say Dad. I'm not going to wear it. I did not say that. Well, you haven't. Hold on, we got to come back. All right, hold on. Hold <laughs> on. Hold on, hold on. All right, so, so wait, I'm gonna show y'all this palette. First of all, pe people in support, first of all, wait a minute, I took, wait, 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 hold on. I even took a palette back to Sephora and the, the person working there was like, I didn't know time for me eyeshadows. Like, I feel like, I, I don't know, like people don't be knowing, like, I don't know. All right, here's the palette. Let me zoom in. Okay, so this is the, Lancome Hypnos Palette. Go ahead. And I want the Paris to get it. Oh, God. Uh -huh. Now, look. That is so cute. Tone, I don't even. What y'all think about that? Oh, let's put it up here. Oh, and this is a premiere, so y'all y'all can comment in the chat. They probably in the chat, like, oh, girl, that is so cute. No, they're not. Oh, can you put emojis in the chat? Like a star, if you like a heart, but a heart. <laughs> I think it's. I don't think it's bad looking. Those are colors you like, too, though. I mean, they are. Is it the brand? Cause you never heard of them. I've heard of Lancome. I don't know Lancome as being known for eyeshadow. Did you swatch it? No, I haven't touched it because I was gonna take it back, and then I felt bad, and then I never took it back. All right, sorry, sorry for that interruption. But. It's not. So what are we putting this? All right, we just go. <laughs> I'll put it with the tweed. All right, let's go back to ColourPop. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Listen, no, put it in the declutter pile. All right, let's, let's go with ColourPop. See, you didn't feel bad. Okay, so I think this was in my last one. Baroque. So they came out with Baroque. Oh, I don't have the other one. What's that? Baroque. It's called Baroque. So like broke. No, Baroque. All right, so this is the Baroque palette. I mean, I. Did I swatch it? I might have swatched it. It looks like I kind of grazed over it. I don't know. I really had all intentions on wearing this palette, but 
at the time, the cool tones just didn't really tickle my fancy. So mm-hmm. I never wore it. I just never did. I know my friend Dr. Ash really liked this one. <sighs> what do we think, y'all? What do you think about this? It's discontinued. And and there, the thing about this one is that there might be people looking for this one. Keep it. No, for what? what? I'm not Child, doing a video on one. Plus, I haven't even been buying from Colorado. How are you going to ask me what I think? And then oh, when go I ahead. I'm this, sorry. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Keep it because, I mean, let me hear your reasoning. All right, listen. If, if it's discontinued, right. then put it on my car. Somebody might be interested. This we one is. On this, this, this is on Macari. Oh, uh, nobody bought it yet? Mm-mm. Oh, all right, put it in. But I'm going to donate it, it if nobody buys it. Yeah, because it's not, you know what I mean? Like I said, my the goal of this isn't to make money. This is like I'm just I, the goal is to get my palette count down. Like 289 is unacceptable. This one's not in my palette count. I don't even know why I bought this palette, but I know a shade broke in this palette though. It did. I know that. I think I might have been trying to do a giveaway or something. I, I'm sure something's. Oh, that's what she should do too. Give uh, do a giveaway. I'm not giving away decluttered palettes. About- I'm no. quite sure somebody will like it. Um, when it when I don't feel good about that. Followers. Yeah, okay, this one broke. Yeah, look at that. Broke. All right, so this is broken. I remember that coming broken. So anyway, I'll figure out. I can repress that with no problem. I'm going to leave it alone right now because I never used it. I, and I remember this one being good. But you know what I thought about was I had a palette from... Glam shop, like one of those glam shop palettes that the ones were letting go, and it was like burgund or something. It was like a burgundy theme, and I was like, "Oh, I don't need both of these." So somehow this broke. Um, I'm gonna repress that and just. No, nah, I don't think I y'all would like it. Well, there's half the shade right there, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. But that's being decluttered. Your sister would not wear that. She wouldn't. So how are you gonna see? You think she would like? I it? don't know. Hand me that paper towel. I was just. I'm just thinking here. All right. Been holding on to this. This one's also discontinued. This is the Tinkerbell palette. I also did not need this. Didn't. Uh, I'm coming, babe. Tinkerbell looks like Peter Pan. Okay. I loved this packaging, but so this is like an example of me just getting caught up in nostalgia and all that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? This palette is nice, though. I will say that. But yeah, nice palette. But you know what it's giving me now? The retro glam Mel Thompson type vibe. I don't need this palette now at all. And the Sydney Grace uh, formula is going to be way better than the ColourPop. So I'm going to let this one go. What do you think about this one? Do you like it? It's all right, but I would let it go. Mm-hmm. I don't like the... Uh, you don't the, like the packaging? No, it's like, you know... I'm saying it's nice, but the, it's just like... People were really like into you sneaking this. in the kitchen as a child, and she's like, "Shh, don't be loud." Okay, well, get rid of it. All right, now this one is from last holiday, the Nightmare Before Christmas collection from ColourPop, and I did not wear this after the video, so I'm like, "What are we doing here?" So let's take a look at this color story. I'm definitely. Oh gosh. I definitely want to hear what Tyrone thinks about this one. This one was cute though, y'all. This one's really cute. <sighs> he might like this. I, you know what? I felt like this was an interesting color story. I, I really did. But again, I have not reached for it. I like these mattes. I think they're interesting tones. And then I like the shimmers. We're going to wait for Tyrone and see what he thinks about this. Hold on. All right. You got to see this Nightmare Before Christmas palette. Let me know what you think. Get rid of it. I'm surprised you would say that. Why would you say that? Are you planning on going to a rave? <laughs> <laughs> Get rid of it. All right. Like a rave vibe. Like. Not the rave. <laughs> okay. Get rid of it. All right, now the, you know what this one. I don't. Oh, do no, I want to get rid of it? Get rid of it. Unless Wait. You want to keep it for the package. I you? did a video and I had Sailor Moon buns. I had. I'm talking about this one. Uh, I had a whole. Remember and I. Oh, you don't remember because. No, I, I probably don't. No, you don't. I had the Sailor Moon wig and everything on in the video. It was so cute. All right, let's look at this palette though. It's kind of dusty pastel though. Like, but I. This could be display. But if I'm doing, you know what, I, I, this is how I feel. If I'm only going to keep something on display, I'm taking it out of my palette count. How about that? Do you think that's fair? 
if I'm displaying something like the Alice in Wonderland palettes and I don't plan on wearing them, take them out of the palette count. Yeah, but okay, take it out. Because it's not, it's no longer a palette. But you can pin it on display. But what if you're like, oh, you know, I got this outfit that'll look good with this. I don't think I'm gonna. I, I don't think that's gonna happen. So it, it's a possibility. I'm never gonna say never, but. I love that. See, I love this. I love this. And I have the blushes that I that took me like over a year to get. But I'm not okay, Tyrone's face. I'm not wearing this palette at this point. Um, I mean what would be happening to this oh, stuff? Oh no. Well, they have expiration dates. Yeah, I mean it sound like dry skin when you rub it. No, it doesn't sound like anything. Yeah, like this palette's done. Okay, this, but I, I would not mind displaying this one. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I, I just thought this was a cool release from ColourPop. I, I do. Now, as you all know, I'm really not checking for ColourPop too much anymore. Actually, I'm not checking for them at all. I did not purchase from ColourPop in 2022. No disrespect. At all. We just ain't been checking for y'all. Yeah, Don't so, but I, but I wouldn't mind keeping this on display. Y'all, okay. Y'all, I know. Don't even say anything. Because I know we love these palettes, but I mean, first of all, so let me tell you what happened with BH Cosmetics. BH, now I'm going to tell you what palettes I'm not getting rid of. My Sweet Shops, those aren't going right. anywhere. Right now we're talking about BH. The, well, the Sweet Shops are BH. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, BH Cosmetics went bankrupt and then they got, they are now under Makeup Revolution, which is a brand that I don't really check for. However... These were some nice palettes by the brand. So this is Blueberry Muffin. Let me know what you think about this. Anything? Uh, shimmers are nice. Like Open up the avocado too. Hold on. We talking about this though. This palette was nice, y'all. I think you should keep one out of the two. No. Because, I don't know because. And you already know what you're I don't know if I'm too. ready to get rid of this because. These are these are nice and look at the shimmers are still nice. I'm thinking because so many people have this like who would would anybody want to bring these back? I don't know. I I don't think these are bad at all to be honest, but I had to bring them out just because and when you know what and I'll be honest when I looked at the palette and opened it up, like I kind of had a little smile on my face. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh yes, this palette was real good. And honestly, so was Avocado Toast. Avocado Toast was a, another really good one from, these were two really good ones, y'all. Look at this shimmer. This, oh. Yeah, I don't like avocado. What? It tastes like bologna. You don't have to like avocado to like the palette. Keep, oh my god no the, this is making keep, me have joy look at this keep the blueberry muffin get rid of the avocado what toast oh y'all y'all let us know because we're at a standstill I would get, keep one get rid of one they're two different color store oh. oh yes i'm about to wear this this week at some point like blast from the past well if you're gonna wear it this week then we gotta keep it I'm just saying, I'm saying, I, these are good palettes. These were good palettes. And I am feeling happy right now. I'm, I'm so glad I brought this out to consider decluttering them because <clears throat> this was the good old days with BH. And there was like another one called. What does BH Momosa. stand for? I can't remember. Bad hat. It ain't bad habits, is it? No, bad it. but I remember. Um. I don't remember what it stands for, but I know that... Beauty hostage. <laughs> Not beauty hostage. Well, that's what this... this you know what? Beauty we are. That's what we are. This is a beauty hostage situation. I'm, I'm keeping the BH. I'm sorry, y'all. That's, that's got to happen now. All right, let's talk about Huda Beauty. Okay. And I'm going to go over my rationale. Now, I'm pretty sold on decluttering this one for certain because this palette, I, she's she's upped her formula. She's upped her eyeshadow game. She's come out with some more innovative formulas. Um, Who is it? Huda Beauty. Um, yeah, I, I, she's, mm, that's nice. But she's definitely upped her formulas. And I have Rose Quartz and I have the 
naughty nudes. So I just feel like this one does not have a place. I did take the concealer shade out and put something of my choice in there. But this one doesn't really have too much of a place in my collection. Even though the shimmers aren't bad or anything and I know the mattes aren't, I don't need another palette like this. So I, I'm ready to let this one go. Oh, Who did that? Okay. Yeah, I'll call it with you. As soon as I'm done this, okay? So wait a minute, we're gonna put this here for the display. This is going with the declutter, okay. Mercury Retrograde. Mm, this is one of my earlier palettes as well. This was holiday, what, 2019 maybe? It looks just like the last one. No, it doesn't. Now I know I changed out some shades in this one too. But again, I like Huda Beauty, but this is like borderline getting to pastel -y vibes, even though it does have some depth here. But the thing about Huda Beauty is she does a lot of the same mattes. And that's why you said it looks just like the last one, because she does. She does a lot of similar mattes and like maybe these blues and purples are different, but I just don't have a place for this. You know, I've got my Natasha Denona pastel palette and then I have all those shades that I'm trying to rearrange and make some new palettes. So I, I, there's nothing in me that says like, mm, let me pull out Mercury Retrograde, you know? So I'm ready for this one to go. Now, the one that I kind of don't want to get rid of is Desert Dusk. I know I did manipulate some shades in here as well. I like this color story a lot. Tyrone is shaking his head no. Again, we have very similar mattes and like swatching very nice. But at this point, I don't. I think, I think with me, it's just a. It just looks rough right now. Like it is rough. It looks like rough. It's old. It probably was in my. Okay. No, nah, it was in my purse and it tripped and fell. You Hold tripped on. and fell with it no. in your purse. Okay. Like. Hold on. Okay, I did not trip and fall. This palette wasn't bad at all. Like it was a nice palette. I just think it has served its time, you know, in my collection. And, you know, I thank this palette for what, and all of these palettes. And that's what Marie Kondo says to do. Like, you thank these objects for what they brought to you and the joy that they did bring. But now it's time to move on. You know what I'm saying? Turkish Delight was nice. This palette really wasn't a bad palette. It's just, I think it's time to move on. All right. Now, this next palette, I'm honestly, I don't even know. I just threw this in here. But I'm not necessarily wanting to get rid of this one. Um, the reason that I have it in the, you know, on the chopping block is because I have a lot of similar color stories and it's time to stop doing that. So this is Supreme Bronze. This is a really great kind of everyday palette where you can create some looks and then there's like go ahead what you about I'm to say? Uh, at there's it. warm tones here and then you have the cool tones. I have Supreme Nudes. I really like that one. Not sure if I really want to get rid of this. I'm just thinking with my Biba palette and other palettes that I have, is there a place for this? Is there a place for it in my collection? I think something like this you should keep in your glove box. Hmm. So if yeah. you on the go and okay. you have time to put makeup on, you could throw this on real quick. That's a great idea. If you got to go to court for a traffic ticket, it's court. not too much. Wait. <laughs> it's not too bright. You know what I'm saying? I would keep it. I'm really surprised to hear you say that. Okay, I'm oh, with you. Nice. I would keep it. It is very nice. Now I feel bad for even considering it. It's a, it's a nice palette. Keep I put well, that with the keep pile. There's nothing wrong with considering it because we considered on keeping it. Right. All right, uh, Dior. So let's let's talk about this. This is denim. Now I don't know. I, I in my right mind, I really shouldn't have bought this because it's a blue quint. You're probably gonna like this, and I have not touched it. I remember when you got that one. Yeah. Is the other one the red one or no? Remember you was trying to get oh, no. the red one. You was trying to get. Oh, the denim. red one I got. No, I'm not getting rid of that red one. So denim is not. Um, this is new. Uh, I have not touched it. But I don't want to mess over it. You know what I'm saying? And that, that's my thing. I wore an all blue look the other day for a uh, color wars at work and I completely hated it. I hated it. It's like it can only be certain blues. And I actually wore the Birds of a Feather Dior Quint, uh, the Nightbird. 
And I don't know, maybe I was in a rush. I don't know what was going on, but it just wasn't it. I don't know what it is, but I feel like, I don't know. I don't know. So me knowing that it's like, why keep this? Because I have birds of a feather, which does have some similar blues and I can resell this or give it to somebody that really likes blue eyeshadow. Um, because I don't need a whole lot of blues in my life. That's how I'm feeling about denim. It's very nice and I want to like it. I, I see beautiful looks all the time like with this, but I'm not, I've had this for a year probably. So what do you think? It's cool. It just like, you probably wouldn't know. They were like flea market jeans back in the day. It'd be like different color jeans. That's denim. Okay. That's fine. So we're putting that in the declutter. Now this, but, oh, what? Go ahead. No, no go ahead. But why you did, really not going right, like so, this one. No, but I'm, I'm saying, why did, is that part of a series that dropped with the red one you wanted? Mm, so Dior releases eyeshadows in this format, Quince. So Quince Five Shades. Would um, you get rid of your Dior lipsticks? Absolutely not. So I get rid of your Dior eyeshadow because I like the lipsticks better than the eyeshadow. Like, mm -mm, not my, not my Dior. Them. Yes, I will wear them. But all. you don't wear all. But I try. Okay. I try. I, I do have more than I can wear, but mm -mm, not my Dior lipsticks. No, absolutely not. No, you have to pry them out of my hands. Okay, this is Mitza. A lot of people liked this one when it came out. So when these Dior Quints came out, they were all the rage in 2020 on YouTube. Like, and then I was trying to keep up with the Joneses and buy stuff I couldn't afford. Anyway, I have tried with this Quint. You can see, is is this Quint's not? I don't even think I would give this to anybody. That brown's nice, whatever. The mats are nice, but this, this is so. I'm gonna let y'all know. So lackluster, like. So lackluster. This one's gone. I'm so sorry. And then they had a nerve to come out with another Mitsa quad quint or collection doing too much. So no, no to this one. I just could not. It just wasn't doing it for me. And I have like Natasha Denona bronze. Like, no, I don't need this. So that's donate. Okay. I do not want to get rid of this. That's what's Khalifa girlfriend. Who? Winnie Harlow? Yeah. Says when? That's what's Khalifa girl. Okay. I love this palette. Like, I cannot. Nice. You know, I'm not getting rid of this one. What am I doing? What am I doing right now? I am not getting rid of my KK. First of all, no, I'm not. Let me just showcase it. I'm not getting rid of this palette. I love this palette. Look at this palette. This is another glove box palette right here. When did they get together? Because I didn't know oh, that. That's what I'm trying to see. I think it's her. Oh, well, you would. I mean, she's. Yeah, this. Well, they used to date, right? That's her right there, right? Yeah, that's her. Yeah. Can we hear this ass? Okay. Last year. All right, come on. Come on. All right, come on. Go ahead. I'm bad. You know what? I'm not getting rid of this. Love this palette. Absolutely love this palette. I do know KKW Beauty, her brand is clothes or whatever. The mats are good. It shimmers. Let's just see if they're still shimming. You got a lot going on with your hands. I know. But I'm going to go right here. Oh, yeah. That, this was a nice palette. Oh, I don't know about that. Um, I love this palette. I got this one in like 2019. Mm, that's a little dusty. We're going to keep it. What do you think? Mm, that's nice. That's very nice. What do we think? What do you think? Keep it. I want to see this one. The red. Let me see. Okay. Okay, Tyrone. That swatch. Ooh, that doesn't feel good though. That feels rough. Mm. Put it in my hands. What do you think? It wasn't. Look, feel it, feel it. Just feel it. Oh yeah. That, that feels a little rough. When you rub it, yeah, but once you get it on, it's smooth like. This 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 palette was nice, y'all. Let me know what y'all think. This was a good palette. Mm. But here's the question. Am I wearing this palette? Are you wearing any? I'm 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 my goal. What do you mean am I wearing any? But I'm saying though. When when do you think you plan on putting any of this on within this year? The, the ones that we're going to keep? Yes. I really want to go back into, I'm going to be honest. I like what you said about Artist Couture. But I want to go back into um, the two BH palettes. The Blueberry Muffin and the, um, the, avocado, the avocado Toast. Sailor Moon is display. Lancome, mm, that's up in the air. Once we see what the chat say. Tweet, I, I don't know. What I would say keep this. this. 
I don't know if I want this in my palette count because I have the one. Put it on display then. I'm not putting that palette. This is not a display palette. First of all, I'm not gonna have a room full of display palettes. I think it's time to let it go. You know why? Because I have the makeup by Mario ones. All right, let's look at these, y'all. Now, Viseart is a great brand. I just don't find myself going for them. Now, this is the Paris Etoile palette, and I've never worn it. And let me let you look at it. Now, these are really cool. Ooh, I don't, wait a minute. I don't know, because I put this in the declutter pile before I started liking the cool tone. This might be kind of nice. What you think? Don't knock it till you try it. That's what I would say. At least I would put it in the keep it pile until you get to use it. And this then yard's you, nice too. But listen, once you use it, then everybody that sees this video, if they watch it when you use it, then you can be like, hey, remember this palette from such a All such. right, we're going to keep this. I don't know. That, I, now mm -hmm. I'm looking at it like, what am I thinking? It's cute. No, it is. And it's so it petite. Looks like, then it's small. Yeah, you can keep it in your sock at work. Okay. And then I had this one in here too. And I don't even know what I'm thinking. Like, why would I put this in here? This is the uh, spritz edit. This is another one. And I love how Viseart does stuff like this. It's like, it's just chill, easy. I mean, you don't like this one. You like the I other one. I don't like the name. Spritz. spritz. And I've used this before. That sounds like a hair. Like, like shimmers are nice. Mattes are great. This is like, and see, and I'm going to say this. Not that these palettes are exactly the same. Babe, look real quick. So like, I'm just saying, not that these are the same. But because they're not, they're, they're absolutely semi, not. They're, but, they're but look, you got like this here. This matte is gonna be better than this one. I'm you know, you got the gold, you got the little topes, browns. So let's keep spritz at it. Let's do that, and let's be um, okay with letting Winnie Harlow go. Because here's the thing: the great thing about Vizzy Art is that not that we have to go by the shelf life of these eyeshadows, but Vizzy Art shadows have a 36 month shelf life. So they're, they are saying here that theirs last for three years. So I just got this one. So I got like three years left or probably two, two, two and a half. Cause I haven't had that one that long. Cause I get the 20% off at Vizzy Art. All right. So let's go to this one. Okay. Urban Decay. This is Naked Honey. Now, my issue with Urban Decay is one, I'm just not checking for them anymore. That's nice. Except the, except the Game of like Thrones nice, path. What, what the, this is nice stuff. Like the texture. Of this, er, this palette is one of their best palettes, I will say. It's one of their best palettes. But I think that the issue I have with Urban Decay is like, no matter what I do, I feel like all the looks look the same. Like, no That's matter what. All the palette. colors look the same. Right. And they don't look different on me. So now I would just will donate this one. This is not something I'm trying to resell. You can get this palette for like 25 bucks at times. So this is something I just want to donate. I, I just think there may be some people that could really like it, but I know I also don't need these shades in my collection. So I am willing to let this go. And we are almost done y'all. We got one more small pile left and it's all- Small pile, big pallets. Small, okay. Let, let me start with Amorizi. Oh my god. What's that called? I like that name. Is, um, that, is that the person's name? This is the person's name. So this is Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is her brand. I, you know what? I was playing with this palette for the first time. Um, or it might not have been the first time, but I remember playing with this palette when I got the news about um, Kobe Bryant, like the helicopter or whatever. I remember being in the bathroom playing with this palette. Right. Now, I know I changed some shades here. I This palette it was fine. I did feel the need to change out a couple shades, but I am just not going to wear this palette. I'm just not. Mattes are, are very nice, but I have my Jackie Ina palette from ABH and like I'm good with that palette. And I have Sultry and I have Norvina and I have Soft Glam. I don't, I, I'm probably not doing the little Barbie pink. I don't like These it. mattes are nice. I, I'm ready to let this one go box is kind of messed up but i'm ready i'm ready to let this go now the last few palettes i have are the norvinas and these are big palettes and i i'm thinking about letting these go solely because they're huge i am not bringing this with me anywhere i can't or i'm not willing to try to depot them because i tried that before and it was a disaster and there are too many shades they're too all over the place it's hard for me to see looks yeah quality is great like quality is excellent. Um, the only one that I really want to keep is the five, number five, which I'll show you last. 
So this one I'm letting go. Yeah. You can get them for boxy charm for like 25 bucks. And then I thought I was gonna collect them all. And I'm like, this is ridiculous. Like you never are gonna wear these. Um, I think you'll like these colors. Again, beautiful mats are fine. I, I'm I don't need all of these bright colors. You know what I'm saying? Like they're nice colors, but I don't need so many. It's 25 shades. It's too many. It's too much. Yeah, I, don't, I don't like that. You know, I like a lot of bright colors. You do. Now I'm going to show you this one right here. This last one you is like the one I, I do. I could tell because you were like, I'm going to open this with we'll this one last. Yeah, I love this one. And part of me says like, just let it go because it's a big palette. But I really love this one. So this is the one that's like, I'm not sure I want to get rid of because it's real good. This is the Norvina 5, and maybe I would be okay with just keeping one. I love this palette because you can do neutral looks, and then you have these purples. This is like a lot more cohesive. This right here is an absolute no because it's a pressed glitter. Like, I'm not going to use that. But all of the rest of the shades are very, very nice. Now, this is something I can see your mom. What? Your mom on Auntie Mara wearing. I, I, really? Yeah. You can really see that? The silver in here is great. I don't know, but here, here's the question. Am I going to wear it? And when's the last time I've reached for it? Oh, look at that. And do I have other purple palettes? The answer is yes, I do. I have a uh, Lunar Lavender by what? You know what this remind me of? What? You ever see uh, the movie Ghost? Uh -huh. Whoopi Goldberg? Remember mm -hmm. when she had that purple dress on when she went to the bank? What? Wasn't there a purple dress she want, had on when she went to I don't know. And cash the check? I don't know, but I know the part where she was like, Molly, you in danger, girl. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna make me look it up, man. No, I don't know what you're talking about. But look, what do we think about this, y'all? Let me know, because this, this one's a good palette. What do you say about this one? This right here, I need people to stop with the press glitter. Stop it. We don't want it. Like, what am I? This looks like a party for no reason. Like, no. But the mats are nice. The mats are nice. Like these like browns. Ooh, a little chocolate brown. But let's think about it. I have great mats. Like this one right here. Mm, that's nice right there. Yes, look at that. That's nice. Am I picking this palette up to use it though is the question. And I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards no because I feel like Lunar Lavender by um, Kaleidos is kind of an edited down version. Oh my God, not, okay, she, that's what this palette reminds you of? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Are we letting this go? What yeah, do you think? let it go. Oh my God. Oh, no, well, oh, I no we can let it go. No, 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 don't keep it because I'm like, oh no, because no, that's the that, problem. That's why you're helping me. No, you're helping me. I'm, I'm saying keep it because if you're getting rid of these two, at least keep one out of the three. Keep it's one Norvina palette. Yeah, it's better than keeping two out of the three. Do I want it on my palette count? This is nice. All right, we're going to keep it for now. How about that? Because out of all the Norvina ones, this is the one I really like. So that's going to be it, y'all. I think we did good. So I have to see which palettes on my spreadsheet are uh, like I still have logged in because I really have to update it. But right now, let's just see how many palettes we're going to like officially declutter. So I have one, two. Like I said, I don't know what's in my palette count, though. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we have the color pop ones here, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. So here's the thing. Um, some of these, as I probably just said repeatedly, are no longer in my spreadsheet. So it, even though, what did we say, 19 just now? Yeah. I might not technically be getting rid of 19 palettes. But I'm getting rid of some and I'm going to continue to go brand by brand because I I want to go through my Dior, Tom Ford, Pat McGrath. Um, what other brands do I have a lot of? Mm, Unearthly Cosmetics, Notoriously Morbid, Sydney Grace. Alien. Yeah, that's Unearthly. Oh, all right. That's right. Nomad. Uh, I, I got other brands I need to go through because I'm going to go through my entire collection. So then we'll see what we can do. I will be adding the Aero palette and the last uh, Cienega palette from uh, Adept. Those are coming, but yeah, that's it. So 
that is it you guys let me know what you think about this whole thing and um you know what you think about the declutter so that's it thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out thank with us know. yes for another mimosas and makeup and thank you tyrone for yes. helping me of course and mm. if you're having a drink while you watch this video please drink responsibly please please yeah. So I hope this was therapy for you because it always is for me. And until I see you again, make sure you are being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice. Stay mm -hmm. safe. And I will see y'all in the next one. Goodbye. Bye. See y'all next month. <laughs>